once you start running your campaigns, you're probably going to wonder how much traffic you're missing out on. How much more could you get? And there's actually a way to see, uh, to some extent, how much um, how much traffic, how many impressions you're missing out on because your budget is too low and or because your ad rank is too low. And I'll show you how to see that information right now. So the way we access that is by adding columns to your reports. Right now we're at the campaign level. We could also do this at the ad group level, but I'll just do it at the campaign level for this example. You go here to the columns option, hit modify columns, and you can see lots of different options here, lots of different uh, metrics and information that you can add to your reports. What we want is competitive metrics. Now let's go ahead and add all these columns and I'll explain what they all mean here. Go ahead and hit apply and you see it updates here with all of these columns that I just added. And this information is for whatever date range we select up here. So if we selected last 30 days, it would be for the last 30 days. And you can see there's no actual data here, and that's because these campaigns have not run yet. But if they had run, you would see percentages here uh, if there was relevant data. So let's look at this first column here, search impression share. That means that, or what you would see here is a percentage of how many impressions you received uh, based upon how many impressions you could have received based upon your keyword being triggered by a search term. So you're never, you're almost never going to have 100% impression share, which means that every single time someone searches a relevant search term, your ad is triggered. And that's just because we don't live in an ideal world and your, your budget and your rank aren't always going to allow you to get 100%. But you want to aim close to 100%, definitely. And so this one tells you how much you're getting. Search exact match due to impression share is a little bit different. It, um, you can see, you can read it here. It's the impressions you've received divided by the estimated number of impressions you were eligible to receive on the search network for search terms that matched your keywords exactly or were close variants. So this is a measure of how close your keywords are to the actual search terms that people are searching for. And as you continue to optimize your campaign, you you generally want this number to increase because it means that you're targeting uh, keywords that are very relevant to the search terms people are using. Then search lost impression share due to budget. This is super helpful. This tells you uh, what percentage of additional traffic you could have received if your daily budget had been high enough. Uh, so super helpful. And it, this displays the information per campaign and then also down here it would give a total for the account during this date range. And these four metrics are all for search campaigns. These next four metrics are all for display campaigns. So uh, di display impression share is the same thing as search impression share but for your display campaigns. Um, you know, I think we skipped this one that back here, I apologize. Search lost impression share due to rank. This tells you how much more impression share you could have received if your ad rank had been higher. And remember, your ad rank is a combination of your max CPC and your quality score. So this gives you an idea, you know, if you raise your quality score, you raise your max CPC, how much more traffic could you get for the keywords you're already targeting? Now obviously it's not going to tell you how much traffic you could get for new keywords. It's only um, it's only in reference to keywords that are already in your account and active during this date range. Display lost impression share due to, due to rank, same exact thing, but for display campaigns. Display lost impression share for budget, same exact thing as search lost impression share due to budget, for, but for your, your uh, display campaigns. And then relative click-through rate. This is interesting. This is only for your display campaigns, but it tells you what your relative click-through rate is compared to other advertisers on the same placements that your ads are showing. So if you have a 1 in this column, uh, you, your click-through rate is about the same as other advertisers on the same placements. If it's under 1, then your click-through rate is worse, and you probably want to look at your ads and uh, figure out what you need to fix to in improve your click-through rate. And if your click-through rate is higher than 1, in these columns, that means you actually have a better click-through rate than competitors. So that's great, and you should take a look at your ads and you know, see what are you doing well, and maybe you can uh, apply that to other areas of your campaigns as well. So once again, to access those, go to Columns, go to Modify Columns, go to Competitive Metrics, and add these columns. And then if you want to remove them, obviously you can just hit the X's over here to get rid of them and take them off your report. And that is how to do that.